Hello everyone. So in this video, I am going to tell you about Terraform. Please note that this video is not about the functional aspects of Terraform. Rather, I'll be telling about how to set up Terraform in your local machine. And also we'll be creating some resources in AWS even without logging into the console. So here's the agenda for today. We'll see what Terraform is. Then we'll download and install Terraform in our machine. We'll also set up credentials so that uh, we can connect to our AWS account. Then we'll see some of the uh, common Terraform commands, which we'll, we'll be using today to create resources. Then we'll uh, provision some of the AWS resources. And finally, after validating, we'll delete those resources. So let's start with what Terraform is. So in simple terms, Terraform is an infrastructure creating tool. Now you will say that uh, since we already have CloudFormation service in AWS, which creates the, the infrastructure, why to use Terraform? The thing which makes Terraform better than CloudFormation is its support for multiple cloud providers. Say for example, today your organization uses AWS, but after some time it wants to move to some other cloud provider, say Microsoft Azure, then you don't have to write the infrastructure code again in Azure specific terms. Rather, you can just change the provider name from AWS to Azure and reuse the Terraform code you already have. Okay, the second question which might come up is when we create, uh, when we can create resources through console, then why take extra pain in writing code to provision uh, the resources into your AWS environment? See, when you work in a corporate environment, you want everything to be auditable. Also, there are resources into uh, there are scenarios where you have to provision similar resources in different environments, say your development environment, UAT and production environments. You can go and provision the resources manually in each environment, but that has a scope for human errors. So the best option is to have some files where you can have all your resources listed and then run it in various environments. This will create consistent resources in all of your environments. You can then also check in this file into your Git or whatever version control system you are using. And thus, this can be helpful in audit purpose as well. In a typical DevOps and corporate environment, you will have scripts or Jenkins or Bamboo jobs that will read from this resource file and provision the resource for you so that there is minimal human intervention. Okay, I think so now that we know what Terraform is, let's move on to some action. So our next step would be to download and install Terraform. So for this, let's go to google.com and search for Terraform download for Windows. So this tutorial is about Windows. So I'll be just downloading, uh, downloading it for Windows. You can go to this link, scroll down and search for Windows 64 bit. If your system is 32-bit, you can download it, this one. 